felt a bit worried because I thought I was going to be alone and they weren't going to make no friends on the first day. But then as I started going through the day, I got better and better and started making like loads of new friends. Um, my, f my first day at the academy, I was very nervous, but um, I soon found my way around. Um, I got lost sometimes to math and stuff. Um, the teachers are really nice and our teachers are really nice as well. Um, my first day was brilliant, brilliant at the academy. My first three week, few weeks at the school have been really good. All of the high lessons have been fun. I've had nothing to complain about. The school has been really kind to me. It's really nice. The food at the New Academy restaurant is really tasty. Uh, I like the fish and chips on Friday. If one of your children wants to come to the Lee Academy, I would recommend it because it's a really friendly school and all the teachers are really nice. Many people of our age, they deal with mental health issues and they're very like, scared to come out about them. So who can tell me what catastrophising means. At the Lee Academy in Dartford in Kent, the curriculum's been changed to try and help. Can you think of all the different types of emotion that maybe that you have within school or maybe in your home life? Four years ago, with 30 other schools, it introduced a new subject, Healthy Minds. The students have one lesson per week and that's dedicated for one hour where they come to their Healthy Minds lesson, look at things like relationships, resilience, so things like mental health. I think they're really important in building character and um, helping us develop as children. If you've got a problem, you've been taught like how to solve it or like what to do. It's all good going to maths, English, science lessons. They, they build your brain, but I think Healthy Minds builds characters. A huge study of mental health, well-being and happiness is about to be published. It's analysed data from 100,000 people and it shows that schools and teachers can have almost as much impact on a child's happiness as they can on their academic performance.